Hello, and welcome to this short demo of Live Recorder by Undo. In this demo, I'll show you how Live Recorder helps address the challenges of reproducibility and complexity of software bugs. In a nutshell, Live Recorder can record processes down to the instruction level. These recordings can then be replayed using our reversible debugger. Let's take a quick look at this application, which I'll run by invoking the executable. As you can see, this application crashes with a rather vague error message. Generating a recording is quite simple. We invoke the application from within Live Recorder. Another way to generate a recording would be from within the application using the Live Recorder API. The recording captures the events that occurred in this particular run and can be shared across the development group for debugging. We can then replay this program with our reversible debugger to explore the cause of the crash or any other type of error or software misbehavior. From within our debugger, I can step through the program execution. I'll set a breakpoint at main and continue to that point, or continue to the very end and take a look at where I am in the stack. I can see the abort signal. I can then step back through the stack using reverse finish till I get to the surf statement. I'll print out the local variables and see that the square root cache variable doesn't seem to match the number because as we know, the square root of 255 is not zero. Now I want to know how things ended up like this. And this is where I see the real power of Undo's debugger. Unlike traditional debuggers, I can use the intuitive human approach of going backwards from the point of failure, stepping back till I see why I have the wrong value. The square root cache value looked wrong, so I'm going to step back into the cache calculate function with a reverse step. I can then set a watch point on the cache square root element and reverse continue to the last point in time this expression was changed. With the traditional debugger, I would have been guessing where the problem could be, printing out to a log, setting a watch point, and iterating through till I reached this point. With undo's debugger, it just took me a handful of steps to root cause the issue. I can see that the function tries to calculate the square root of number 2 when it is equal to negative 1 because of line 43 where number 2 is set to number minus 1, which is a problem if number is equal to 0. As of November 2018, Live Recorder can be used to capture any failure or misbehavior in C++ C++ code running on x86 Linux, and we're expanding to support other languages and platforms. We have already implemented support for things like multi-threading, multi-process applications, and shared memory. Live Recorder can be used to record failures during testing and can also be integrated into the source via our API to catch issues in production software. Please head over to undo.io for more information and to get in contact with our customer team. Thank you.